today we are in Edinburgh, Scotland, taking a tour around to find the best free things to do. Mm -hmm. When you are in Edinburgh, it can get quite expensive. Things like going to the Edinburgh Castle are like 30 pounds a person, and I do recommend it. I've been before. Um, but if you are trying to save a few dollars or pounds or euros, we are going to show you all the top free things to do. Yeah, let's get to it. Make sure if you guys enjoy this, like, subscribe. We appreciate it. Helps us continue making these. So our first stop today is Victoria Street, which is right in the heart of Old Town. Super easy to get to. It's a pretty small street, but there's some really neat shops to see. There's a few restaurants between fine dining and budget eats. Some of the shops, you can find some Scottish kilts. There's some local Scottish cheese shops. And for the Harry Potter fans, there's a lot of stores based around Harry Potter souvenirs as people have compared this to Diagon Alley and the way it looks. So it's definitely worth checking out. The Harry Potter store did have a lineup before we even got there. So people were clearly waiting to get in there. We're at the Museum on the Mound now. This is the first of five museums we'll be visiting today. Mm -hmm. They're all free, which is great. It's a great way to spend some time. Mm -hmm. And this one used to be an old bank, so all of their features are about the history of the Scottish currency. So we'll go check it out. We just left the museum on the mound and honestly it was a lot of fun. There was a lot of interactive activities and yeah, we had a great time there. Now we are at the Museum of Childhood which is about halfway up the Royal Mile and it's the first ever museum dedicated to the history of childhood. So just go check it out. Our next stop continuing down the Royal Mile is the People's Story Museum which is right behind me here and directly across the road is the Museum of Edinburgh. Our last stop on the Royal Mile is at Arthur's Seat, which is a viewing point at the very bottom of the Royal Mile. You have to hit the hiking trail once you get down here, and then it's about, I'd say, 60 to 90 minute walk. Mm -hmm. I did it the last time I was here, and honestly, it was really nice, but we were reading, and between Calton Hill and Arthur's Seat, apparently Calton Hill is a nicer view, and also it's only a two to three minute walk up. Yeah, a little quicker. And we're a little bit tight for time, so if we bank like two hours for walking, we may miss some other stops. Yeah, so, and we wanna make sure we hit all of our sites today, so. Yeah, we'll compare and see which one was a nicer view with my past experience <laughs> climbing Arthur's Seat, and we'll see what Calton Hill looks like. We made it to the top of Calton Hill. Mm -hmm. We found a really cool kind of a side spot that's also free on the way up. Yeah. 
and it was a shortcut. It was the new Calton burial ground. Um, so we'll insert some footage. Yeah, it was really cool. It's like a cemetery built on the hill and you have some really nice views of Arthur's Seat from there. Mm -hmm. But the views up here are phenomenal. Once you get up to the top, it really isn't that far of a walk. You've got full 360 degree views of Edinburgh and it's just beautiful up here. Yeah. You get a really nice view of Arthur's Seat, the castle, the water. And I would say it is nicer actually than Arthur's Seat yeah. view wise. You have not been. <laughs> Good point, but <laughs> just, ju just judging by the location here that you're kind of still in the center of the city. You get a whole view of the um, water side that you don't get from Arthur's Seat. It's kind of blocked. Yeah. So this is, yeah, it's nicer and it's a higher viewpoint too. Um, yeah. And there is a couple of monuments up here that you can check out, but they do cost to enter. So we did not include those since mm -hmm. we're trying to keep this all free, free. activities. Yeah. Next stop is the Scott Monument, which is perfectly on our way back after Calton Hill. It's a beautiful spot. You can see it from most of the city down on this side. And right behind us is the National Gallery, which is also free, so we're gonna run over there and take a quick look through it. on our list is a stroll through Princess Street Gardens. So you can come here to get some really, really good views of the Edinburgh Castle. Mm -hmm. Since it's about 30 pounds to enter and do the tour, it doesn't count as a free thing to do, but viewing it is completely free and it honestly looks so much nicer from down here. And I do recommend doing the castle, but obviously we couldn't include it in our free activities. But the best view of the castle truly is from down below because you can see it up on the cast or up on the rock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can also go check out the Ross Fountain while you're in the park, which is stunning. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty and the park's completely free to walk through as well. Yeah. Some statues, some monuments, yeah. some gardens. Last stop on our tour through Edinburgh of the best free activities is Greyfriars Kirkyard. So this is a very cool cemetery that you can come check out. It's great for the Harry Potter fans. There's a few tombstones here that apparently kind of gave J.K. Rowling her uh, inspiration. Yeah, for their names. So we're gonna drop a couple of those clips in. They're pretty cool to see. Um, it's great, you can walk around. There is a church here on site too that's free to enter. You can take a look at that. Mm -hmm. But it's really cool. We also wanted to mention, well this is the last of our free things to do, a kind of a bonus mention. We did the Johnny Walker whiskey tasting. And it was phenomenal. So it was yes, great. yes, it does not qualify as free, but as a bonus, it is worth every pound that we paid. And it was about 30 pounds per person. Yep, and it yeah. was worth it. It was such a cool experience. Not really anything like anything we've done before. Mm -hmm. um, we loved it. We definitely recommend it if you have a little bit extra cash and you're not trying to go straight free, check it out. Yeah, we so you get to it. do the tour and you get three cocktails uh, in that. So yeah. anyways, we'll insert some footage next on it and yeah. Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We're gonna drop a section down in the comments of each spot we are at. We kind of walked them in a system so it really makes sense for you guys to follow. And if you guys liked it, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. We really appreciate it. We'll see you guys in London. Bye.